Hey, this is Vintage Statements, and this is Marie. I'm Brant, and today we're gonna finish this piece by talking about how to paint it and how we paint. So we're gonna paint it white, which is a white kind of transparent, so sometimes it it gets seen through. That's why we're gonna do two coats. We use uh, white paint, but we put KS KSL in it, KSX, something like that. It's an extra toner in it. <laughs> Not sure, but what we use is our Woodster short brush angle brush two inch really good brushes let's take a look at what they look like there they're soft look at that. now <laughs> this is gonna be a bad day but I have to retire this one Aww. yeah yep you can Did see have a retirement speech well I would like to say I've painted a lot of pieces <laughs> you can see that it's just it's starting to fray it's not staying together take a look at that Woo. Nice, smooth. This doesn't do that. It's really stiff. Let's try painting your face with it. Ugh, it's wet. It's oh, so wet. A lot. Never mind. A lot. Well, what we're going to do is we've got two people here. We're going to use two brushes. If we're looking at it from this standpoint, we're going to go with the grain across the drawers, pull them out, do the drawers. We do the frame around it, and then we'll do the fronts all the way across and back. Why is that? Oh. It matches the grain pattern, so we're not going against the grain pattern. Gotcha. You get a nice smooth look to it. New brushes will make the, the brush strokes not as much. Uh, with the, the old brush, where's that one at? It retired. It retired, it came back. This is gonna create a lot more coarse brush strokes in your product. That's not. Brand new one's gonna be really nice. And smooth. Smooth. So after we do the drawers once, we wash the brushes. We do them a second time, we wash the brushes. And we do the frame once, wash, and do it again. A big factor to, to think about when you're painting at your own house is weather, right? Yeah. So if it's super hot out, your brush is gonna dry up and get gunked up really quick. You gotta Very even fast. wash it even more. If it's a cooler day, well, the paint might not dry as fast. So when you put that second coat on, it's gonna gunk up from the first coat. You're actually gonna mix it in, and it's gonna bunch up, and you don't want that either. Or it might like wear in one spot, and so it's not like actually absorbing. Exactly. So you'll find these things. So you gotta take in your elements around you. That's climate. <laughs> so if it's hot, you gotta think about it. It's gonna dry fast, but your brush is also gonna dry out fast too. If it's really cool out, it's not gonna dry as fast, and you're gonna smear it a lot. So you gotta play with those factors here today. It's a little humid for Phoenix, so we have a solid wood piece, so it's gonna dry a lot faster than trying to paint over another uh, paint. And that's kind of like why we sand too. Yeah, exactly. We sand, give it a better well, grip. We sand, I don't. <laughs> so today, we're just gonna start with this piece. Again, we're gonna go across the grain, or with the grain, even down for these pieces, across. What else can we talk about that what we do? Ah, gunk. Gunking up like corners, so these little edges here. Make sure you're getting those cleaned up. Uh, after I paint a drawer, I always will look around it, make sure there's no globs in the corners or anything like that. Get them out before the paint dries. I think it, what's important is not stick your whole brush in the paint and like just mix it around so you get all this extra paint. You just need a little bit, a little bit goes a long way. So how much is a little bit? If this is your paint can, doop, boop. I, I use a little bit more than that, but <laughs> I would say what, to the white? I'd probably put it a to little bit of, if I'm doing a big long area. If it's hot out, that when you put it on, make sure you're spreading it out. If it's globbed up here and you're just like, I'm going to spread it out, it's going to dry and it's going to gunk up right there. So make sure you're doing the full strokes all the way down and back and then put more on. Ah, it's so nice. <laughs> all right, well, that's all it is really for us. It's just time and uh, well, put on some good music and get it going. So, Like, pump it up. Nope, nope. <laughs> we'll go from there. I'm going to retire this. Break out some new ones. What are we going to call that one? Betty? Betsy Lou. Betsy Lou. And Ralph. <laughs> All right, let's get to work.
All right, so we're done with painting two coats. Uh, at this point, some of you might like that solid look, and you can finish right here and go to waxing and putting hardware on and getting this piece finalized. Now with vintage statements here, we're gonna scuff it up, give it a little more worn in look, give it a nice feel to it. So when we sand, we use our old sandpaper from sanding the piece down, so 80 grit, and we go with the grain with it. Now what we're really looking for is just getting the edges scuffed up here. So we go nice and light, and we can go, always go harder if we need deeper grooves or more paint removed. And we just kind of go over it nice and easy. We'll dust it off, uh, wipe it off, and then we can start waxing this piece. So let's get started. Alright, so we got a nice mini wax that we're going to put on it, beeswax, do the top here, and then we can start putting the hardware on the pieces. Maybe we'll get a picture of it here real quick. I like this product. It goes on nice, wipes off nice, and it leaves a nice little shine to it. So let's get started. Got a glove on, got an old sock, looks like it's one of my socks. Looks like it's in good shape, I don't know why it's out here. But, <laughs> guess my wife threw it away, so we're going to use it. Here it is completed. Nice pure white that we sanded down, gave it an antique farm style look. Put the hardware on, sanded the top, dark walnut. Well, I think it came out pretty good. Simple techniques, just going across with the grain really does help, especially if you're gonna sand at the end. It gives it a, a nice fluid pattern. So try something like this at home. Nothing to it, right? A little paint, a little brush, and a little time, really. So give it a try. Maybe you'll have a piece like this. If you like this piece and many of our others, subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook and Instagram, and we'll keep trying to give you guys some cool ideas and some cool projects to do.